Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're looking at a giant mouse knife. Giant mouse. Have you guys heard of giant mouse? I'm sure a lot of you have. Uh, most people who watch the channel are very much into the knife scene. Um, it's actually kind of a, well, it's a short story. Um, I knew about giant mouse ever since their inception back uh, roughly five years ago, four or five years, something like that. I think about 2015 or so they hit the market. Um, and basically it's a collaboration between two very well-known uh, knife makers, designers, Jens Anzo and Jesper Vox. Vox short for a longer name that I can't pronounce or don't want to try. <laughs> but both those guys, um, no knives. And their goal was to make uh, very high-end production knives, but still somewhat affordable prices. Um, they totally hit a home run. And it's funny because I've had people ask me ever since they started seeing these at dealers and stuff and, and picking them up and talking about them. I've, I've been asked to, uh, to try them out. And I just have not been able to get my hands on them, except for recently. I got three different giant mouse knives. This Biblio is the first one that I actually started using. Now, of course, uh, my EDC has been very limited lately just because of everything going on, but starting to get out a little bit more. So it's not just testing around the house. I'm actually EDCing these knives. Um, so both this Biblio as well as one of the other giant mouse knives got some pocket time, uh, totally an aside, but I got a new Wii knife that I was very, very excited about. So this was kind of put in the back burner for a couple days, but you know, just, uh, recently revisited it and wanted to make a video on it. I have to say just right off the bat, giant mouse as a company from the three different models that I have, uh, you know, had a chance to try out extremely impressive. Uh, all these knives are made in Italy. Um, this one, the Biblio, uh, sells for about, I think, 175 uh, This is sporting an M390 blade, which is ridiculously awesome. Huge fan of M390. This one is sporting some natural canvas micarta scales, which is just really, really classy. Of course, we have my favorite pocket clip style, the wire clip, which we all know from uh, Spyderco originally. Just a really, really cool, great EDC option. Um, very, very high quality overall. Um, it is a, a liner lock. There's no blade play in any direction. Uh, perfect lock up here. It is a little flipper, but of course we have this kind of oblong uh, opening hole, which is very you know accessible, very easy to get to, easy to use, but more times than not, I am using a little flipper, which is very comfortable. Flips out, you know, like I said, rock solid. Great grind on this knife. Very simple, you know, utilitarian style blade. Just a little bit of a... Uh, an up sweep towards the front here. Tip is a little bit on the stronger side as opposed to the pointy side. So not super aggressive, but definitely durable. Um, but this thing just slices like a hot knife through butter. It's ridiculous. Of course, the clip is swappable to the other side if you want. There's a lanyard hole on here. Um, just all around a really, really nice knife. So I've been extremely impressed. Uh, part of the video is not just on this Biblio. Uh, it's mostly just because it's the first one I used out of the three that I got. Um, but just as a, a brand overall, I'd love to hear you guys feedback on it. Like I said, just really, really impressive. All three knives. Um, wow. It's just, it's just something that I, I kind of wanted to get into. And like I said, occasionally maybe like three or four people in the course of like two or three weeks would say, would send messages like, Hey, did you ever check out this giant mouse, whatever, whatever, you know, they were into. And I kept saying the same thing. Like, yeah, I know about uh, giant mouse, but I, I haven't gotten a chance to try any of their stuff. And now that I have, I'm very much focused on it. This is a fantastic knife. Really, really nice. And the other two, like I said, I haven't had much use on those yet. But you'll see other videos in the future as I get more time to, uh, to test those out. But just very cool. So I want to know you guys down below who has giant mouse knives, who EDCs them. Uh, if so, which models do you like? Looking again at the scales because the natural canvas micarta is just super, super classy. It's awesome. These have a wonderful feel to it. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. It's almost like, I mean, if I close my eyes, it just feels like uh, a semi-smooth G10. You know, it's, um, it's not aggressive at all. I mean, there's no real, there's a texture there, but the texture is so fine. It's not like textured where it's going to grab your, your hands. You know what I mean? Um, but it's not like polished or anything. Just really, really nice. I mean, it looks fantastic, but, uh, it just feels good in the hand. I love it. I absolutely love this Biblio. So I want to make this video not only saying... You know, that now I've finally been, you know, <laughs> exposed to some uh, giant mouse knives, which I think are very cool. And I think the brand overall is extremely impressive. 
Uh, but specifically this Biblio after using this, it's just really, really cool. So I would highly recommend that for people who want something a little outside the box. If you're tired of Benchmade and Spyderco and all the regular brands you see all the time, you got somewhere between $150, $200 to spend, you might want to check out this company. It's fantastic. This knife specifically is fantastic. You know, when you're tired of the same names over and over again, they're worth looking at. A couple cool designs, two fantastic, very experienced knife makers uh, coming together. You know, everything that I've read about the company, they're both on board with all these knife uh, designs. They're, they're coming together to make sure that everything is how they want it to be. So anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.